Hello everyone, this is Troy with TC Guitar. Today we're going to take a look at Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. We're in standard tuning, so you can play along with the recording, which is actually the best way to get good at it. Um, these lessons I'm doing on the Performance Tonight series are not meant to be note for note or take care of every nuance. They're just to get it up and running, say you and your band have a wedding coming up. You just want to add it to your toolbox, and then you can expand on it later on. So let's get started. So like I said, we're in standard tuning. I will leave a link in the description to my cover, or and I'll also leave a link up top at the end of the video. So let's get going. We're in F here, right here, if you can see. So we are on the D string, third fret, stair step down, second fret, G string, first fret, B string. So it sounds like this. Let's get the chords, and then I'll show you the picking pattern. And we're going, we're going to move this whole thing up two frets. So, and then we're going to go to an E minor, which is right here. So this is going to be your middle finger, D string, 5th fret, 1st finger, 4th string, G, 4th um, fret, G, and then your ring finger is going to be on the 5th fret, B. So that's that one. It's a form of an E minor. And then we're going to go to another F position which is right here. So that's going to be all four strings barred on the fifth fret, your ring finger on the D string, seventh fret, middle finger on the B string, sixth fret. So let's go through those chords again. One more time. Okay, let me show you the picking pattern I do on it. He palm mutes it. Palm muting is just, in case you don't know, you take your palm and you put it against the strings. And it deadens them. See how they ring? Palm muting is just, you put your palm there and it doesn't let the strings ring out. So that's sort of the effect I use live. It's kind of what he's using on some of it. So the pattern is this. So that's D, G, D. And then you go to the B string and just go up. So it's right here again. D, G, D. And then up from the B. Okay, so that's going to be our picking pattern. So here it is put together. So that's the intro, okay? And that will come up again um, in in a in a middle part of the song, in a bridge part of the song. So anyway, let's get to the verse, and it's here. It's just those chords back and forth. So it's just, which is basically the roots are D and C. Okay, so here's the chord. We're on the third fret, middle finger, D string, first finger, second fret, G string, and then the third finger um, on the third fret, B string. So, and then the next chord, so there's that one. The next chord is just barred right here on the, on the fifth fret, D, G, and B strings. Just like that part of our C chord. Okay, so it goes. So that's it. After my picture fades and darkness. That part. Okay. And then there is a pre-chorus. And it uses these the same chord we used before. And he palm mutes that. So he palm mutes it just like this. So he's going. Just like that. 
same chords we used. One more time. Okay, he, so he does that once, and the second time he goes. He hits these harmonics. And that's just right here on the 12th fret. And you just go, just like this. I just do all four going up. I've heard guys, they'll skip the strings. Um, do some others. I just did the bottom four straight up. So, do it like this. Just like that. And most of you know, a harmonic is just you lay your finger on the string. Don't press it. Let's lay your finger on it, pick it, and remove it at the same time. They're really easy to get right here. So you can almost leave your finger on there. So just... Harmonics are one of those things, the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So anyway, so here's what we got on the pre-chorus. goes back to that okay so that's got those parts kind of only leaves us with the chorus i'm just doing rhythm and chords on this um the guitar player does a lot of stuff it's the hooters you know uh the hooters were cindy lopper's band you can tell the hooters singer he's singing harmony on this drummer always love those rim shots and the hooters guitar players real jangly anyway it's them um but so we go to the chorus and everyone plays the chorus a little different I just played it for live performance, being in it like a three-piece band. Um, I just wanted to make the chords big. And so I kind of use cowboy chords a little bit, but I'll show you. I always, um, and this is, of course, of course, if you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. I just did G, which is middle finger, third fret, and then these two string, these two fingers on the bottom two strings, and I deaden this A string by letting this finger lay on it. So I did... Let me see. So this is G. I mean, this is the top string. And then I did the B and the G. So that's just how I pick it. So I do it like that. Same thing on A minor. A minor is um, right here. It's uh, the D string, second fret, G string, second fret, and your first finger on the first fret of the B string, and your, your E can ring too. And this string is your A string. So all of them but the top string. So anyway, I did... Okay. And then I always did a variation of an F. It's uh, your ring finger. It's third fret A string and a third fret D string. That's a variation of an F. See, we're in the F position, but I don't. I always put this. But I don't play this finger. I just do these two. So it sounds like this. Okay, so it's the G. Back to the G. And then C add 9. And I deaden the third string. C add 9 is right here. It's just like the G, except you pull this finger down once. Mute the top string with your thumb. And you can mute this string with your finger. So you're going to be hitting this string, this one, and this one. This one. So it goes like this. That's just how I played it. I always thought it was big and it sounded good. Okay, so I'm doing.
Okay, so that's what I did uh, on the chorus. Now listen, he'll go into a little, I call it the solo. It's just really jangly chords. Um, you can just do them. It's the same thing on the chorus. And so that's the chorus. And then the only other thing is at the end, when she's going into that time after time, and she keeps saying time after time, that's just right here. Time after time. Time after time. All right. And so anyway, that's the basics with Cindy Lauper, time after time. Um, the best way to get this, the timing, everything else, is just to play along with her, especially if you're in a three-piece band. Do what sounds good for you. Make it right for your band. There are a million ways to play it. Make it your own. So anyway, until next time, I appreciate you watching. As always, this is Troy.